Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, in the presence of re representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Majesty praised the role of the ministry in cooperation with the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs in serving Islam and its values that are based on moderation. His Majesty expressed his appreciation of the care extended by the Sunni and Jafari endowments to their places of worship and their steady keenness on urging citizens and residents to remain committed to the preventive measures to help mitigate the spread of the coronavirus and ensure their security and safety. His Majesty added that Bahrain will keep moving forward with its humanitarian mission to consolidate the values and principles of Islam based on tolerance, compassion and peace. His Majesty wished success to all the people in charge of the mosque in carrying out their noble tasks for the sake of the nation and the society. The minister stressed the ministry's keenness on providing all forms of care and support to the places of worship to carry out their designated role while remaining committed to all health and preventive measures. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the crew of Sariya program in the presence of the Minister of Information, Ali Rumehi, and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Tawfiq Al Mayyad. His Highness affirmed that the Kingdom continues to preserve its national heritage in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He affirmed the importance of launching initiatives that preserve the Bahraini heritage and connect the past with the present. His Highness emphasized that heritage is the foundation of national identity and that it instills the values of loyalty and patri patriotism. He also stated that media is a key partner in instilling the traditional identity in the community, evidenced by the efforts exerted by the crew of the program, which played a vital role and led to the success of the program. His Highness expressed appreciation of the crew as well as the public and private bodies that supported the program and helped promote the national heritage of the kingdom. The program was produced upon the directors of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to Heritage Committee Chairman Khalifa Al Gaoud in cooperation with the Ministry of Information. For his part, the Minister of Information Ali Rumehi affirmed that the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to the media sector reflects his keenness on developing this key and vital sector, which is a pillar that showcases and preserves the country's identity and civilizational achievements upon the directors of His Majesty the King. Rumehi hailed the support and continuous follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to a Saria program, which was broadcasted during the holy month of Ramadan. He affirmed that His Highness's support played a key role in the success of this national production, which aims to preserve the kingdom's heritage and history. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports Affairs Heritage Committee and to Bahrain Telecommunications Company, Batilco, for their continuous support and cooperation with the ministry. He reiterated that the ministry will continue to produce such programs that are aimed at maintaining the Bahraini identity and heritage. Upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to resume Friday prayers with the obligation of applying precautionary measures, the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments announced that Friday prayers only will resume in Bahrain's mosque starting June 5th, taking into consideration the health regulations set by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, presided by Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The Ministry added that this and other decisions related to the coronavirus will be periodically reviewed in accordance with the Sharia regulations relations to protect the health and safety of all. The necessary arrangements to make the mosque ready to accommodate people for the Friday prayers have been coordinated by the ministry and the endowment departments. <coughs> Following the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in a high-level meeting on financing for development in the era of COVID-19 and beyond in the presence of a number of st states' presidents and officials. The remote meeting included discussions on the impacts of the coronavirus on the global economy and the solutions needed to solve this issue, revive the economy and achieve sustainable development. The participants also discussed the precautionary measures taken by countries to combat the virus. The meeting also included financial and economic discussions that will alleviate the negative impacts on the global economy.
Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil Ahmedan announced that companies and establishments in the private sector have started to pay the salaries of their Bahraini employees for May, which the government guaranteed to pay in line with the royal directors to launch financial and economic stimulus packages in support of Bahrainis working in the private sector and ensure the payment of their salaries for April, May and June amid nationwide efforts to combat COVID-19. The social insurance organization has transferred the salaries to the accounts of business owners to pay the wages of insured Bahraini workers. The minister affirmed that the government will deal immediately with any delay and called on all institutions to pay wages on the allocated dates. In line with the precautionary measures and preventive measures stipulated to maintain the health and safety of citizens and residents in the kingdom, the Ministry of Health continued its inspection visit to 4,200 beauty salons and barber shops in coordination with the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to ensure their commitment to health standards and requirements. Beauty salons and barber shops were reopened yesterday following a recommendation by the National Task Force for Combating Coronavirus. The health minister issued an edict including the necessary anti-coronavirus requirements to be followed by those facilities and the penalties to be inflicted on violators. Public Health Director at the Health Ministry, Dr. Najat Abul Fath, said that the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism are coordinating to intensify their inspection visits to ensure commitment to requirements in order to curb the spread of COVID-19 and preserve public health. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,666 with 153 recoveries and 344 registered new cases. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact as well as covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public places when possible.